Mr. Chair. My colleague, uh, Representative Bridges, is going to speak to the bill first. Uh, Rep or Representative Bridges. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. So this bill is about recognizing the reality of political campaigns. Uh, President Donald Trump has already held a rally for his 2020 re-election. That is four years out. What this bill does is says that in between the primary, when we know who all the candidates are, and the general election, if you spend any money on something that is considered an electioneering communication, which is already defined in law, then you have to fill it out as if it were an electioneering communication. Right now, that window is only 60 days before the general election and 30 days before the primary. We know that in the 2016 election, uh, with uh, using, using lots of research and looking through all the various different ways that we can dig up to find uh, where this spending occurred, we know that almost $2 million was spent in between the primary and 60 days before the general. That would have been electioneering communication. It should have been marked as electioneering communication. All this bill does is closes a $2 million gap that we have in our current campaign finance reporting. Uh, let's be really clear about current election law. If George Soros or the Koch brothers personally wanted to spend an unlimited amount of money on Colorado campaigns, as long as they spent it that first week of September, they would never have to report anything anywhere to anyone. Extending the electioneering window by three months is a modest and necessary step to ensure that Coloradans know who is spending money in our elections, what they're spending it on, and where their money comes from. All this bill does is recognize the reality that elections last for more than just 60 days. This brings dark money into the light, reflects common sense Colorado values. Anyone who wants to influence elections in Colorado has to be transparent about where their money comes from and take responsibility for what they say. I ask for an I vote on the bill.